Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. Hope you're all doing well. We talk a lot about how Islam is morally very problematic, how it causes backwardness in today's world, how it's logically flawed, and so on. But we could talk endlessly about these things without getting anywhere. If we certainly find that the Quran has a very big mistake, however, that the Quran got something very wrong, that it misinforms people, that it is factually wrong, we should conclude that the Quran, and therefore Islam, is wrong. The Islamic belief and concept is that the Quran is the direct spoken word of Allah, the Almighty God. It is supposed to be perfect in everything it says. If there is only one mistake, then it is wrong. In fact, the Quran makes that assertion itself. Then do they not reflect upon the Quran? If it had been from any other than Allah, they would have found within it much contradiction. Since the Quran makes that very clear, let's get right into it without taking too much time. In chapter 19, the chapter named Maryam, Mary, the Quran makes a very weird presentation. From verse 16 on, it talks about the Virgin Mary, the mother of Jesus in the Christian faith, and tells the story of her receiving Jesus as a baby without a father while she is still a virgin. Of course, the Quran tells the story in a slightly different and heavily dumbed down way, but in the verses 27 and 28, it gets very interesting. Let's read. Then she brought him, the baby, Jesus, to her people, carrying him. They said, O oh Mary, you have certainly done a thing unheard of. What they are referring to is that she suddenly has a baby without being married, which is a great shame. They continue, O oh sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor was your mother unchaste. Now, there is a big problem in this last verse. Many Christians will immediately see what is wrong here. The Quran refers to Mary, mother of Jesus, as sister of Aaron. Mary, the mother of Jesus, didn't have a brother named Aaron as far as we know. The Bible never mentions such a thing, and no one ever thought she had such a brother. It looks like the Quran is confusing Mary with someone else, right? The only Aaron we know is the prophet Aaron, who could have only lived more than a thousand years before Mary, mother of Jesus. And referring to Mary as sister of Aaron from a thousand years ago is very bizarre. I am apostate prophet, brother of Genghis Khan. Oh, there is Ahmed, brother of Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. But since this is pretty confusing, let's find another Quran for us where Mary is mentioned. Maybe that helps. And Mary, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity, so we blew into her through our angel, and she believed in the words of her Lord and his scriptures and was the devoutly obedient. Okay, this Quran verse obviously talks about the same Mary, mother of Jesus, and now refers to her as daughter of Imran. So who is Imran? This is getting very interesting. Because Muslim apologists see that there is something wrong here, they claim that Imran was the name of the father of Mother Mary. So Imran was Jesus' grandfather on Mary's side. But Mary's father's name, according to Christian writings, was Joachim, or Joachim. And Joachim doesn't sound like Imran at all. Joachim, Imran, Joachim, Imran. But wait, if the Quran refers to Mary as sister of Aaron, and Mary's father's name is Imran, let's see what Aaron's, 1300 year old Aaron's father's name was. Aaron's lineage can be found in the Bible. The sons of Kohath were Amram, Izhar, Hebron, and Uziel. The children of Amram were Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Adhama. Hmm. So Prophet Aaron's father's name was Amram, for which the Arabic translation is Imran. So let's get this straight. Prophet Aaron had a father called Amram, which is translated into Arabic as Imran. And the Quran also claims that Mother Mary who lived more than a thousand years after that, also had a brother named Aaron and a father named Imran. But there is more. Aaron was also the brother of Moses, and they had a sister named Miriam. 
which sounds like Maryam in the Quran. This family lived more than a thousand years before Mary, the mother of Jesus, who marked the beginning of Christianity 2,000 years ago. So Mary, mother of Jesus, was alive 2,000 years ago, and Miriam, Aaron, and Amram were alive more than 3,000 years ago. And the Quran confuses the Marys here and thinks that Mary, mother of Jesus, and Miriam, sister of Aaron, were one and the same person. This is not a misunderstanding in reading the Quran. This is a huge mistake in the Quran. But let's summarize this since it is so complicated. I see how a desert guy called Ahmed got this wrong. There are two characters known as Miriam and Mary in biblical stories. Miriam, sister of Aaron and Moses and daughter of Amram. And Mary, mother of Jesus. There are at least 1000 years between these two women. But the author of the Quran obviously thinks these two people are the same person, Maryam, that the Quran describes as mother of Jesus, sister of Aaron, daughter of Imran, and a virgin. There is really no defense to this at all, but we are also not the first people to uh, discover this. In fact, there is a hadith, a narration, in which this contradiction is mentioned. This is one of those hadith which you won't hear during your Islamic education, because it is simply embarrassing. Mughira bin Shuba reported, When I came to Najran, the Christians of Najran asked me, You read, O sister of Harun, in the Quran, whereas Moses was born much before Jesus. When I came back to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, I asked him about that, whereupon he said, the people of the old age used to give names to their persons after the names of apostles and pious persons who had gone before them. <laughs> so Muhammad is confronted with this mistake in the Quran, but then Muhammad says that it's no mistake, because people in Mary's time apparently referred to each other with the names of old prophets and pious people in the past, from 1300 years ago. And coincidentally, they picked the name Aaron here. Muhammad is making this up, if you can't tell. Not only don't we find any information, any reference to such a practice in the past at all, it is also quite interesting that the Christians, who are far more familiar with traditions than the new Muslims, don't know of such a practice at all, and obviously think that the Quran makes a mistake here. This sounds to me like a uh, prophet the Christians told me that the Quran is wrong when it calls Mary the sister of Aaron because Aaron lived a thousand years before Mary. Uh, no, 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 it, it, it's correct. It's, it's correct. It's no mistake. People used to do that back then. You know, they used to do that. Are you doubting the message? Uh, no. But if all of this is not enough, it gets even more interesting if we take Ibn Kathir's exegesis of the Quran, one of the most widely circulated and respected interpretations of the Quran. According to that commentary, Muhammad's child bride Aisha, who is respected as mother of the believers and a great scholar of Islam, was once confronted with this question as well. And first she reacted with anger. But when her opponent pointed out that there is at least a 600 year gap between Mother Mary and Aaron, she didn't know what to say and remained silent, very awkwardly. As awkwardly silent as many other Muslim apologists react when they are confronted with this question. So what can we conclude from this? When I was a Muslim, and I was already deep in my skepticism and my research into Islam, I accepted the fact that if there is one mistake in the Quran, because it is considered the perfect word of Allah, then Islam is wrong. It takes a lot of effort, thinking and courage to come to that point. But once you are there and you find such a mistake, which reveals the author of the Quran to be an ignorant person, your faith is shaken. It looks like the Quran wasn't authored by an almighty, all-knowing God. It looks like it was authored by a 7th century man in Arabia who heard a lot of stories from Jews and Christians, but he confused those stories because he wasn't perfectly familiar with them. Quite sneaky. It definitely looks like Muhammad made all of this up and he couldn't protect the Quran from containing a major error. 
And as said, if the Quran contains such an error, then it is wrong. This is why I don't have any doubts at all, and why I don't sit down and think, hmm, what if Islam is right? And this is why I'm quite confident and want more people to know that Islam is not right. Islam is very strong in controlling and brainwashing, indoctrinating, but it is definitely not strong in being factually right. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, to subscribe and to share. Most of my videos are not monetized. If you want to see more videos like this and if you want to help me and this channel, you can support me on Patreon or on ApostateProfit.com. I'll be back with even more. Until then, have a great day and stay away from Islam.